Hi everyone, this is Ida with Creative to Create. Welcome to my tea party. Uh, starting us off in group six is Miss Carol Buffington. I don't think she's she has a YouTube channel, but if she does, I will link it in the description box. And uh, so let's see what she created, guys. She did create one for me, so we'll be able to get into it. Uh, this is what her swap looks like. She's got, uh, she created like a mini loaded envelope. And I know that because I already opened the other one to save time. But she wrapped everything in this yellow tissue with her information cards in it. So this is, again, this is what her swap looks like. And I will, um, so you really can't see nothing on the outside. It's just wrapped in tissue. So I'm going to put these in the box, remove these so I can, uh, so I can show you what she created. I know she's been waiting anxiously as I have other, uh, some other of you ladies that are in the swap. She did have her swap in a plastic uh, bag. That way nothing migrated anywhere. And here is her information right there. She's Carol Bu Buffington. Instagram is Carol and it's Carol Ann Buffington. Etsy is Nanny Carol. And then she's got her blog right there. So you can find her in any of those places. She shouldn't be hard to find. But again, I am going to link her name in the description box. And that way you guys hopefully can look her up and uh, show her some love. And uh, she did have a bag topper up here. It says Handmade with Love by Carol Buffington. And here's the other side. She's got this beautiful glittered heart, filigree heart. And then she, the, the topper has like cupcakes and cakes on there. So pretty. So anyway, let me put this down. And she did create a card for me. And then she's got this card in here that says, uh, I hope you enjoy. Best wishes, Carol Buffington. So that card was in there. And she did create a card for me. I'm going to leave that there so you can look at it. While I look at her card really quick, look at the beautiful envelope. Even the envelope is beautiful. That's so pretty. She's just thanking me for allowing her to be part of the tea party swap. That she loved making the, the items for her swap partners. She, I guess she likes shabby chic. Tea party and sweet shops are my favorite themes to work with. Yes. I hope you enjoy my gifts, hugs, and blessings, Miss Carol Buffington. Uh, blessings to you as well, Miss Carol. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look at the beautiful card, guys, that she um, sent me. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. And look at the envelope. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. So I'm going to put that away. Move it over here to the side. Or Nope, I'm going to put it down here. So let's get into her her swap guys she did send me some goodies and I really want to share that with you guys at the end so let's get into her her swap look at the beautiful uh, mini loaded envelope that she created and she look at this beautiful teapot and it looks like she's using that paper that I uh, purchased it's a digital paper and I love it it's beautiful she cut out her uh, this might be a crafters companion teapot I'm not for sure and the teacup she's got a little doily down here and the little gold spoon and then the dessert right here in the plate mmm yum I love bunt cake and uh, let me show you the back and this thing is loaded so I don't know what's the back or what's the front because it's pretty on both sides look at the beautiful back on here oh my goodness she's got the little beautiful teacup and she's got it in a couple layers and they're kind of offset so you can see the gold trimming on the saucer and the teacup and then I don't know what where these come from they're beautiful she's got Mr. Snuggles up here and or Mrs. Snuggles because she's wearing a bow and a beautiful stickled up flower right here. This might be a flower from Wild Orchid Crafts because I have something similar. It is super pretty. Look at the shabbiness in this um, this uh, envelope. So I'm going to start off with her uh, charm and I move this to the side. Look at her beautiful work guys. Isn't that amazing? And I'm going to bring you in Look at this beautiful uh, dangle that she created. She's got a cross way here at the bottom. And it's so funny that this has a cross at the bottom. That's what the church was, uh, our service was about last night. Thank you. 
And then uh, she's got like she did like little um, I'm going to say I uh, like little segments of beads. So this one has three beads on here with rondelles and and she's got some um, end caps in the pink and the iridescent white. And then she's got this beautiful tiny one that has the rose in it. I own those beads and I love them. And then she's got this other charm right here and it's got the two pink clear beads pink ones and then the uh, like a satin pink in the center and then she's got this other little charm right here that has the tree maybe the tree of life and then she's got a pearl right here another beautiful uh, glass bead that has the rose in it I have this one as well it says made with love in this beautiful heart and then here is her other one this is all in white so they're pink and whites guys and her accent color or her metals are silver and then she's got this beautiful crystal right here and then the uh, iridescent and then this iridescent one down here and it says believe yes I do believe and then she's got this beautiful acrylic ones up here oh they might be glass and then she's got this beautiful iridescent pink right here and she's got this beautiful lobster claw clasp that has a heart right there isn't that pretty that's beautiful thank you so there's her charm and we had to have uh, a chunky charm let's see I'm just gonna start pulling out guys and hopefully uh, we'll be able to I'll be able to find we had to have a tag oh my goodness her work is beautiful we had to have a tag and I see a couple of tags in here but I'm not sure if they are uh, might be an embellishment Look at her, the beautiful tag. You know, these are my favorite flowers, but I've never used the Wink of Stella or whatever it is that you used on here because it's beautiful. It is super pretty. I love these flowers. And then she's added the green leaf. I'm going to have to try that. And then she's got this beautiful, it says Sweet Art, and it's a three-tier cake with the pearls in the corner. And this is lifted up, guys, on Dimension. So pretty. And then she's got this beautiful lace and satin ribbon so pretty and here's the back to and from this is a beautiful tag oh my goodness nice and shabby too I try to do shabby but I'm not uh, real good at it <laughs> but I try and and then we had to make a bow look at her beautiful bow it is so pretty here is her bow guys look at her I don't even want to take it off I'm not going to take it off, guys. Look at how pretty it is. Look at that. She's got a double loop bow, a double bow. It's actually two bows put together, one in the mint green, one in the pink, and then this beautiful, I love these uh, Hobby Lobby flowers. These are like my favorites, and I have them in a couple colors. So there's her bow with a beautiful flower right here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And then she added... Um, She's got this wand that she created, and it's got uh, some iridescent pink. It looks like a bit blush pink pearl trim, and then she's got this uh, kind of like an eyelash trim, similar, not exactly, in the mint green seam binding. Then she's got this beautiful tulle flower that she created, and then a little bling center right there. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? And then there's the front. She's got the Crafter's Companion Tea Kettle up here. She does have a, a doily or a rose, some type of die cut. I don't know if she bought this or uh, for, or she cut it with a die, but it's beautiful. But it's got this, it's got a different texture to it. So I'm not sure if she bought it like that. And then she's got this beautiful rosette in there. You can see the rosette. So you've got plenty of dimension. And then here's her straw. And these straws are pretty firm. So she added this uh, wand to the top, uh, to you know, for to her envelope. And I'm going to show you the envelope once it's empty. I just, I would just want to try and figure out uh, what is what, and uh, because I don't want to skip anything. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take everything out of the envelope, and it still feels pretty weighty. Oh my goodness, you did an amazing job on that. So let's see. These must be her bag topper, guys. Look at how beautiful and shabby these are. She's got some trim right here. Look at the bag topper, a doily with another one of those flowers that I'm guessing that she made with the bling center. These are beautiful, very pretty. So let me open this up. Okay. 
Even her bags are pretty. So she did include the bags for her swap to go with her bag toppers. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? She's got the beautiful, again, paper from the, I think it's called um, Romantic Shabby Roses, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name of it. She's got this pleated organza white trim, and then she's got a, a line of clear bling beautiful and this might be a die cut that she folded in half guys it's really pretty and she included the perfect size bag to go with them so there's number one and then here's number two. Oh, I love this butterfly look at that beautiful butterfly she has on there again with another die cut I'll open it up so you can see and she added she added it to a rectangle piece so definitely you know did some uh, you know, like a genuine creation because she kind of stepped out of the box and made her own with a die cut and, you know, just straight cut. So that's awesome. And she's got, again, this beautiful butterfly right here sticker. And then she's got three of the blings right here. So pretty. And again, she did include the bag for it. So I'm going to put that there. These are really pretty. So here is her bag toppers. And then she created, we had to have three embellishments. Uh, I'm guessing these three are her embellishments, so let's get into these. She added a, uh, a little piece of lace up here. Oh, this is beautiful. Trim, and like, um, like crochet trim. And let's see if I can open the back. She made a she made a paper clip with the uh, little uh, applique and a pearl on a white paper clip. There is the back. It is finished on the back. And then see the pink uh, clothespin. She altered a clothespin. She added gold uh, glitter right here. Another beautiful of those little wild orchid craft flowers. I'm willing to guess. And then this pink heart right there. So that's two embellishments right there. And then she had she she made like a tea bag look at this isn't that cute let's see if i can find and again she's got that trim there beautiful beautiful oh this is two of them they're back to they're back to back oh my goodness these are pretty look at the the faux tea bags that she created one of them says forever and the and the other one says friend forever friend beautiful this is beautiful she uh i know that this came with like a uh, this paper line came with tags and she somehow cut a tag or a tea bag i don't even know how she did it maybe she glued two pieces together she made it look like a faux tea bag guys there's the string to it and then the little tab that's on the tea bag how super cute is that how creative and it's all glittered up with Wink of Stella. I believe that's what she used. A beautiful wild orchid craft flower right there and a little satin bow in the back. These are super pretty. And here's the other one with more of the green in it. Again with the pearls right here. Here's a little tab with a heart bling. The satin bow, another bow all stickled up and forever. Oh, these are so pretty. That's another one of her embellishments. And uh, let's see, let's move up a little bit. And then she has, so right here, guys, it's already one, two, three, four embellishments, as far as I'm concerned. Here's our other package, again, with the trim up here. You do shabby very well. Very, very well. And here's another, yep, this is an embellishment. Look at this, how pretty it is. She's got this beautiful paper. I don't know what paper line this is because it's not from that same one. And then she's got sweet cupcake right here, a beautiful cupcake right there, a little lace bow with a pearl center and some satin trim. And look at this beautiful butterfly she's got here in the corner with the bling. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. These are super pretty. Uh, let's put this up here. And then she, um, this might be tea. So let's see what's in here. She's got this beautiful little, uh, kind of like a folio. And it and it closes with a seam binding. And she's got this beautiful uh, fabric uh, flower with a pearl center. And let's get into this. Oh, look, this is her little tea pouch or pocket. It says, just for you, vanilla caramel. Oh, man. 
Oh man, I'm gonna have to try that. So this is what she used to house, how she housed her tea. What is a tea party without tea, right? Even though I didn't add tea to mine. And then she has this beautiful envelope right here, again with that paper. You know, I never thought of making an envelope. Look at you, you're giving me so many ideas. And um, in here, in this envelope, she included some ephemera. Oh, this is pretty. She has got another of those papers, like a tag size one, and then like a journaling spot. Then she's got this one, and then she has, here's another one with the sweet uh, treats. And then she's got that one right there. So all of these are like journaling cards. Look at that chocolate cake. Look at this beautiful lady she included in there. Isn't that pretty? Yep, she's definitely dressed for tea. And then she has this right here. Awesome. Oh, that's nice. She's got this bottle of perfume. And then she's got this uh, doily right here with, look kind of looks like a doily, but it's got birds on it, on there. And then a some type of cake, like a fruit cake, that's what it looks like. And then there's a teapot right here. And then she's got a teacup and a cupcake look at that and then in the envelope she also included those uh those doilies that i said that i don't i didn't know if they were die cuts but they feel she might have already purchased them like this they have like a plastic coating on them i don't know she might have die cut them too who knows because look there's a little piece there she might have die cut these guys this might be a die that she owns so she included a couple of these doilies in there so pretty and then she included, I don't want to cover up these beautiful little tea bags. They are so pretty. And then she included some little uh, die cuts. I'm not going to take these out because they're very delicate. But she's got the little tea pitcher with the little spoon. Uh, that's the crafter's companion die. And then she's got the little word dies. These might be a crafter's companion because I actually own those. Um, I didn't realize they were that little and delicate, but they are. Look at that. So she included that as well. And you know what, guys? I forgot to silence my phone, but hopefully it'll be okay. So she included all that in this beautiful envelope that she um, that she um, put in her little uh, loaded envelope. And then she's got this beautiful little sack right here. And she's got some goodies in here. Uh-oh, did I knot it up? I hope not. Yay, I got it out. She's got this beautiful little organza bag in the white. It's got the pink uh, ribbon on it. And let's see what's in here. Hopefully we'll be able to get into this. She added a gold and silver uh, tassels. Look at that. She's got a bow paper clip. Uh, yep, paper clip. And she's got a swan, an enamel swan in white. That is so pretty. And then she also included uh, some ribbon. Look at this beautiful pale pink ribbon or lace trim. Not ribbon, lace trim. And then she included some um, cheesecloth in a blush pink as well. Sorry about my phone, guys. Hopefully it won't ring. And then she included some bling pieces in here. Um, Let's see if we can get into it. I don't know if I can get that third one out. I want to share with you her envelope too because it is beautiful. And then she included these uh, little pearls and crystal blings and then a little strip of, of bling as well. Look at that. Uh, that's the pretty side right there. So she included that as goodies for her group members. And I'm going to move this aside because I want to share with you her envelope. And let me just move that. Make some room over here for her envelope. It's beautiful. Look at her little mini loaded envelope. And this, guys, is a sturdy envelope. A sturdy envelope. Um, 
She's got, again, like the beautiful uh, die cuts right here that I told you about earlier. She's got some bling, pink bling. And then she's got, this is that paper uh, romantic shabby rose. And she's got this beautiful heart trim in white. And then she's got some flat back pearls here. There is the inside. It does have gussets on the front pocket and the, and the uh, main pocket. And then here's the little pocket that she did in the back. Oh my goodness, you did such an amazing job. I love, love, love your little, your little uh, envelope that you created. And then she actually sent me a couple of hostess gifts that I want to share with you guys. And let me see. Let me see. First, look what she sent me, guys. The Tea Lovers Devotional Book. And it was marked to a page. And I said, this has to mean something. She marked it for something. And sure enough, it says, an invitation to tea. Isn't that, isn't that nice? I thought, oh, my goodness, I love this. I'm, actually, I'm going to enjoy reading this uh, devotional book. And I just love the fact that you marked it in the page. That's so clever. Um, and I'm not going to read it, guys, because it would take too long. But I have read it already before. And I'm, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this book. And this is by Emily Barnes. And it's the Tea Lovers Devotional. Thank you so much, Miss Carol, for this. I am going to enjoy this. I did take a peek. Uh, but I didn't want to get too much into the swap until I shared everything with everybody. So she sent me this, guys. And then she sent me some fabric as well, and I want to share that with you. She actually had it wrapped in some tissue paper, but I took it out. Look at the beautiful fabric that she sent me. It's a tea-themed fabric. How pretty is that? It's got the saucers. It's got cups. And I thought I was holding it upside down, oh, but they're going in every direction. And it's got the roses. Look at how pretty it is. It is beautiful thank you so much miss carol i am i'm gonna see what i create with this 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 is beautiful definitely something i'm gonna hoard for a little while but this right here i'm gonna enjoy right away thank you so much for playing miss carol again guys if she does have a youtube i doubt it i don't think so but don't quote me if she does click in the description box below this video and everybody's uh, channels or names will be in the description box again i showed you in the beginning where you could find her if she doesn't have a youtube channel thank you for playing miss carol and i really appreciate uh that you created one for me and the goodies that you sent me don't go away guys you never know who's next Next in the lineup is Miss Wanda, who is Boxy Bell here on YouTube. And this is what her swap looks like. Thank you for playing, Miss Wanda. Um, her uh, swap is actually wrapped up in white tissue. And she did wrap it up with a bunch of this uh, embroidered trim. And then she's got her information on this tag. This might be a Graphic 45 tag. I really like this tag. And it says Tea Party Swap 2019, Wanda Thompson, and her YouTube is Boxy Bell. So this is the this is how her swaps look. And Miss Wanda did create one for me. And I actually already took it out of the package. So let me share with you what that looks like. Now here's the lace that was wrapped around my, my uh, swap. And um, Again, here's all her information, but look at all this lace that we can reuse. So definitely going to reuse that. And then here is her beautiful swap that she created. And uh, a lot of the ladies picked up the challenge of doing a, whether it, it was a teapot, a cup. And I see that a lot of you ran with that. And I really appreciate you going the extra mile. Look at this beautiful teapot that she created. And it is like in a coral peachy color. She's got this beautiful trim at the bottom, and then she has these beautiful flowers. Oh my goodness. I don't know where these flowers are from, but they're very pretty. Oh wow, beautiful. She's got a rose gold uh, heart right here, and then she's got the scalloped right here where the lid is, also in the rose gold, and then the top where the, where, you know, the, the little handle to pick up the teapot, or the lid, the lid. And then she's got this little pom-pom trim with this little rose right here. She's got a copper paper clip here. I hope I didn't lose something. 
it looks like maybe something no I'm not sure I'm not sure what was attached here but it does have a beautiful rose gold or copper uh, paper clip right here let me show you the back here's the back to her teapot and let's get into her swap guys I'm just gonna take everything out and I'm gonna show you the the teapot empty that way you can see what it looks like here's look at the pocket and there's the teapot already empty. So she did glue it around the perimeter on the spout and on the handle and left the center open. And this is a pretty good sized teapot, guys. And let me move that aside. And I want to share with you her uh, swap. Here is her beautiful charm that she created. And I'm actually going to, you know what, I'm going to leave it there. Look at that, guys, how pretty that is. And she did cut out a tag, like, with corrugated paper to put it on. And the reason I'm leaving it here, because it's easier for me to show it this way, than try to hold it in my hand. Her accent color or the chain, her findings are gold. And she's got this beautiful little bling right there. And then she's got a pearl right here with the rondelles also. Oh, she's got, you know what, I'm just going to take it off. That way I can look through all the yumminess. Here at the bottom, she has those little that little crystal that she had up there, so tiny. And then she's got this beautiful little uh, dangle that's got the rondelles and then the pearl. And look at her teapot. She's got an enamel pink teapot that has, let me bring you in some, that has a little crystal right there. How beautiful is that? And then she's got a couple more dangles right here. She's got the crystal, and then she has the blue one right here with the rondelles. And then she's got another one of those little crystals, those little drops. Isn't that pretty? And uh, then she's got a couple of those up here. And then again, I, the pearls. Oh, look at the umbrella. Look at, look guys. How cute that is she's got a little bitty umbrella you know the ladies wouldn't go out with their umbrella because they didn't want to burn their skin so pretty when they would go to tea parties that's beautiful that is so pretty miss Wanda so I'm gonna put it back on the tag and there is her um, her uh, charm her chunky charm or her dangle and then we have to have a tag and she's got it in this um, part of these uh, glossing bags. I was gonna say parchment paper. Haha, <laughs> the baker in me. <laughs> and then she's got this tag. This looks like a graphic 45 uh, tag die, and it says time for tea. She's got the beautiful copper foil paper, the little bow, and the butterfly. Look at this little teacup with the heart cut out and then she's got the most prettiest rose cluster right here in the corally and peach colors a little like a frosted white and the little teeny tiny roses and you can see a doily back here as well she's got a doily in the back and there is dimension on this teacup that is super pretty and then she look she did a garment pen that's what I just did on my last tag to add the to and from so whenever anybody reuses this tag and they want to reuse it all they have to do is add another tag to the garment pin and they can reuse the tag because it's beautiful and then she's got this grow grain ribbon and like a, a cream color it's beautiful Miss Wanda it's so pretty let me put it here so there's her tag and then we had to have a bow so I'm going to share with you her bow this is so pretty look at her bowl guys is that pretty or what that is so pretty now you can fluff these up guys this is with like faux vinyl and then she's got the prettiest pink and crystal uh, center on this look at how beautiful that is oh my goodness that's pretty so there's her bow and um, and we had to have three embellishments and, and we had to have a bear somewhere so she had this bag, uh, again, the uh, glossing bags, and here is her bear. Look at that. She has a, a die cut, a scallop die cut, and then she has eyelash trim in the back, and then she's got this beautiful white and pink little bear. So pretty. 
that's embellishment number one and then she has oh my goodness look at these beautiful little teapots that she has so it it's in a, the designer paper I don't know what line this is guys but she's got a vine in the gold foil and she's got a pearl at the top of the lid and then she's got a little cluster of flowers right here that is super pretty and she has two of those there's the other one guys so that's embellishment number two and three and then we have to have we have to have two bag toppers and she did, she actually did not uh, put them together she gave you the option that you can put them together but she gave you several colors in it and she did definitely did, did more than the two she actually did in the cream color she did two in the cream she did one in pink and one in white look at that the butterfly bag toppers I love these I actually own this so she gave you four bag toppers guys and then she gave you these go with a layering piece these bag toppers have a layering piece so she gifted a layering piece that goes on top of here right here and then of course you can add more to this layering piece so she gave you several of the layering piece she gave you enough to do front and back on all on all the bag toppers in a variety of colors she's got like a peach and a coral um, two, two and two and then she's got two of the white and then she has two of the pink these are so pretty and I mean this is pretty much done for you guys and the good part is that you can add your own touch to this one so these are her bag toppers that she included and she like I said she did go the extra mile and gave you extras and she did include a goodie in her swap I didn't find a card miss uh, miss Wanda not that it's required or anything uh, but I want to make sure that if you did send one, I'll share it I, or that I show it. But I didn't see one, so I think we're good. And then she uh, included as a goodie this package of these beautiful white flowers from Michaels. And they have a beautiful gold and uh, uh, bling with a flat back pearl on them. These are pretty. So you get a set of three of these. So you could consider these another embellishment as well. So this is what her swap looks like. Let me share her teapot again with you. Here's the beautiful teapot that she created. And I can't get it all in frame because I zoomed in to share everything with you. And what I'm going to try to do, guys, hopefully I can get Abby to do this. I'm going to kind of put all the three swaps together from this group and hopefully put it as a cover on my video and I pretty much have everything separated so I think I'll be able to do that with all the swaps even though I've already listed them I want to put those as the cover uh, so anyway thank you Miss Wanda for creating one for me again she's Boxy Bell here on YouTube and uh, make sure you guys show her some love I will link her in the description box in more and uh, thanks for playing Miss Wanda so let's see who's next, guys. Don't go away. Up next, we have Miss Peg, who is Miss Izzy's Craft Studio. Uh, Mrs. Izzy's Craft Studio here on YouTube. Look at her beautiful swap, guys. Oh, my word. Your packaging is amazing. It is just amazing. I hope I opened the right one. I think I did. But here is her information, guys. I found this sticking out and it says YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, Mrs. Izzy's Craft Studio. And there is her, um, all her information. I'm going to tuck this back in, but look at this beautiful packaging, guys. Is that pretty or what? And it says, let's have a tea party. Yes, let's. Beautiful, beautiful. And here is her other one. And uh, she did create one for me. So I'm just going to move these guys because I already unwrapped mine. I just wanted to share with you how beautiful her packaging was. She did an amazing job. Wait till you see what she created. Look at her beautiful box. Is that pretty or what? She sent me a card, so I'm going to read it really quick. And hopefully share a little bit with you uh, and her name is Peg <laughs> what's brewing <laughs> she's just thanking me for her letting her participate in the swap uh, she had fun creating uh, the tea party goodies 
She says, I inspire her. I've never created anything as beautiful as this. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my word. <laughs> she says she's learned so much from me. Ah, you're welcome. And thank you, Miss Peggy, Miss Peg, for the kind words. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And there's her information again, guys. Let me bring it up so you guys can see it. And uh, let me share that. Look, look at the card. What's brewing? <laughs> and here is the front of the card. Everything coordinates so well. It's so pretty. I'm going to stick this in there and uh, display it in my craft room. So pretty. I love it. Anyway, guys, this is what she created, and I can't even zoom out anymore. Like, it's it's as far as I can go, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. And I, when I empty it, I'll, I'll share it by itself. But look at this beautiful box that she created. And she's got several layer on top of layer of, uh, see how she's got this um, intricate uh, swirls and it's beautiful. I don't even know if this is a cutting file or what it is. Miss Izzy, you're going to, Miss Peg, you're going to have to let us know because I don't even know, if, like I said, if this is a file or what. Look at this beautiful border right here. I'm going to bring you in tight, guys, because I want you to be able to see that. Look at the beautiful border right here. And she put a bling on each and every flower center on this uh, border that she's got up here. And then she's got this little die cut up here with the tea set and everything. And I don't even know what paper this is, but this is beautiful. Then it says, let's have a tea party. And she's got two little buttons right here. And then even these flowers have, have a bling. That is beautiful. Like it seriously is beautiful. And, um, let me share the back with you. Here is the back. How pretty is that? Again, she's got this beautiful border back here. And look at all this, these different layers of uh, the swirly edge that she's got on here. It's super pretty. So let's get into the swap, guys. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take everything out because I want to share the box with you. Uh, she does have shred in there. Look at how big the box is, guys. You can fit you can fit tons of stuff in here, and uh, she's got it uh, filled with some uh, shred in here. So pretty. Look at that, and it's it reminds me like um, like a buffet table or something like that. Is that what what they're called? Yeah, I think so. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's beautiful. So pretty. So I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to stop drooling and I'm going to move it aside and get on with the swap. Here is her dangle, guys. Look at how pretty that is. Let's take it out of the package. And um, thank you so much, Miss Peg, for creating one for me. I am totally going to enjoy this. Uh, look at the beautiful dangle. She did use gold findings on here. And she's got a little porcelain cup and a little porcelain saucer with little roses on it. She's got, again, I've seen this spoon already. Somebody used it. Beautiful. A little uh, bead right here, the iridescent pink. And then this one right here, also an iridescent pink. This kind of looks like they have, like, gems all over it. And then she's got this dangle way here, way down here at the bottom with uh, gold beads. And then she's got, like, an, uh, like a vintage pink pearl on there that is so pretty and I'm not going to take it off guys because you can probably see it better like this than if I were to take it off look at how pretty that is is that pretty or what so I'm going to move that aside and then let, let's look at her tag look at her beautiful tag guys look at this beautiful tag again here's that frame similar to what's on the box and I don't even know how she did this. Um, I'm going to have to go to her channel because I want to know too. Inquiring minds want to know. This is super pretty. I hope you did a video response, Miss Peg, because I would love to see it. And I'm going to take this tag out and look at the beautiful paper that's in the back. Beautiful. Look at this tag, guys. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Remember, 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 you remember. <laughs> remember we had to have a tag? I mean, a bear. Look, at, here's our little bear right here on the corner of this frame. This is a good size tag, guys. This this is a, an awesome tag. Uh, she's got blink. She's got little bitty flowers. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, I think you can. See the little bitty, bitty, tiny flowers she's got there? And she bling them all out pretty she's got some greenery right here and up here she's got a rolled rose up here and this is built up with uh, looks like foam and I don't know what type of foam she uses it's pretty firm guys and it says when your day seems topsy-turvy and as stormy as can be there's nothing quite as tranquil as a nice hot cup of tea and then she's got this little um and this too guys it's 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 not flat it's on dimension the little teapot and the teacup with a tea bag hanging out there's another rolled flower right here it says a little cup of friendship this is a beautiful tag and then here's her hanging element so pretty i love that i love it you did an amazing job there's a tea bag right here and see there's the uh little tag to the tea bag and there's the back of her tag and it's a sturdy tag you guys it is beautiful let me tell you okay let's move on to her uh, bag toppers look at her bag toppers let me move the tag look at her beautiful bag toppers and I am going to take them out because I know there's a lot of glare and I'm trying to go as fast as I can guys but I don't like to rob anybody of their time uh, I like for you to be able to see all the details in their work. I'm not going to remove the bag toppers from here because I think the background on it gives a pretty presentation. She again has several layers and it's got like some, it's got some open work in between the layers. Like I really don't know how she did this. And then she's got the tiniest doily right here and it is so intricate and it says terrific on this little chipboard piece or she either created it. And then she's got the little cup flower sequence and then she's got different other sequence right there, little tiny hearts. Oh my goodness, how tedious was that? Here's again her little teapot and her teacup and her little spoon. This is a sturdy, sturdy bag topper, you guys. This this is like really sturdy. This is beautiful, Miss Peg. And then here is her, her other bag topper. Again, she's got the gold leaf trim right here with another little beautiful flower, a flat back pearl. Here's a cup back here with the teapot. And then it says, life is a cup of tea to be filled to the brim and enjoyed with friends. Yes. And then she's got the uh, flat back pearls over here. This is beautiful. It definitely is beautiful, I have to say. So pretty. So they these are her bag toppers. I hope the lighting's good, guys. And then here are her bows. We had to have one bow. Let me move out because, um, no, I'm going to leave it there. Let me take, because I want you guys to see the close-up details of her work. I think uh, she said that I inspired her. Nope, you just inspired me, Miss Peg. Uh Look at her beautiful bow right here. And these are a good size bow, guys. And she's got a couple layers. She's got a filigree and then a solid on the bottom. So it's layered a couple of times in the glittered gold and the printed paper. I love the, the paper backing on here. I actually did purchase a beautiful digital paper uh, tea themed and I'm going to share it pretty soon with you guys. Look at this beautiful bow right here. I love it. And then here's her other bow. It does have a double loop bow. So she instead of making one guy, she created three and they're all different. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay. So let's get to her embellishments. Look at her packaging. Look at her packaging. Is that pretty or what? Yes. She's a lady after my own heart. She's got a little envelope in here. You all know how I love to make my little envelopes. Here is the um, her first embellishment right here she has a couple layers of doilies so it's pretty firm 
this is pretty firm. You could put this on dimension and the edges are not going to curl under or get bent because it's pretty firm. She's got a couple layers on here, if not more. And then she's got the beautiful teacup raised up on dimension. And she actually, I think, either colored it or I don't know if it came that way, guys. Hopefully she'll leave us uh, some information or she'll do tutorials. I haven't even seen it because I was looking, guys, and you guys were hiding. And then she's got this rickrack on the bottom in a circle around the doily. She's got this beautiful rolled flower right here, and it says, just for you. And the cup is pretty dimensional. That's beautiful. I love that. Her next embellishment is this uh, envelope right here. And let me see. Let me cover that. Look at the beautiful envelope she has here in the same paper and she kind of made a trail of flowers up the side of the envelope and she's got this uh, your friendship warms my heart and then she's got another little doily that's sticking out in there and this beautiful glitter gold butterfly right here and another rolled rose this beautiful I love this paper line and then here is her other embellishment and she has a um, it's it's like uh, kind of like a, a ticket because it's got the corners notched out but it has a little list right here that says nothing finer than tea with a friend I love that and then she's got uh, again it's got a bunch of little flowers uh, the, it's not on the paper it's a die cut and she's got she uh, put bling on the center of the flowers, a tiny doily back here with her little teacup on dimension, a couple of gold leaves right here, and some more flowers. Wow. Wow. This, you guys, all of you in this group did an amazing job. I love absolutely everything you created, and I hope that you ladies, if you do have a channel, that you do tutorials so you can share with others and they can, uh, you know, create some of your work. I think that the best compliment anybody can give me or I can give somebody else is to recreate something they created. That's the best compliment you can get or that somebody can give you. Um, Anyway, guys, uh, she is Miss Mrs. Izzy's Craft Studio here on YouTube. Again, make sure to check out all the ladies and show them some love. This was Group Six: Miss Carol Buffington, Miss Wanda, who is Boxy Bell, and Miss Peg who is Mrs. Izzy's Craft Studio here on YouTube. Their channels will be in the description box. Thank you so much, ladies, for creating one for me. I absolutely love all your work, and I will act display your work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that you get inspired and try some of these beautiful crafts that they created. Bye.